Hi folks, it's Tex here. I'm making a video tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to take off from Wide Awake International in the XR2 Raven Star, get into an Earth parking orbit, get to the moon, and finally land at Brighton Beach on the moon. Uh, for this tutorial, uh, you obviously will need the add-on, uh, the XR2 Raven Star, Wide Awake International. You also need the Base Sync MFD and the Launch MFD. I've provided links to all four of those add-ons at the beginning of this video. And um, also I'd like to note that I'm using, uh, for my XR2 config settings, I'm using the um, realistic fuel setting, which is supposed to be only enough fuel to go to ISS, but if you're good uh, with your flight plan, you can get all the way to the moon. And I know there's there's people out there who can get to the moon with even the expert setting. and hats off to you but I'm not quite that good I just wanted to make kind of a basic tutorial for beginners maybe even in intermediate orbinauts showing you from the ground on earth all the way to the surface of the moon uh, it has been requested many times before so uh, hopefully some people will uh, find some use from it uh, that said I would like to uh, show you um, how to pick your launch window before showing you the launch MFD, I want to show you a visual reference here on the map MFD, and then we'll reload the scenario back to the starting date. Uh, if you'd like to download this scenario, I will make a link available in the video description. So if you were to download it and load the scenario in your own orbiter installation, it would look just like this when you're starting out. Let's uh, look at the map MFD, and you can see the orbital plane of the moon marked in yellow here. And I'm going to zoom in, and you can see our position is right here at Wide Awake International. Now when you launch you want to try and get your plane aligned with your target at the same time to save fuel. Okay so the best time to launch is just before the orbital plane of your target is directly over your position. Um, I'm gonna speed time up so that you can see what happens. Let me zoom out and watch the moon's orbital plane as I speed time up and as the Earth rotates, you can see the orbital plane is moving this way. So we just passed through a launch window. Now we'd have to wait until the orbital plane of the moon comes back over to our launch site. Now if we wait till this launch window, let me zoom in, and it's approaching. See, we would want to launch into this direction. So that would be a southeasterly launch heading, okay? Our launch heading at the start of this scenario was a northeasterly launch heading. So we'll, I'm going to reload the scenario and come back to where it uh, would normally begin if you had just loaded it. So I've reloaded the scenario and we're back where we started here. Um, the launch window is approaching. First of all, let's go to the upper panel. I hit control up arrow. Look at the payload view here. We do have some cargo in slot one. I've got the crew habitat module and in slot 2 I've got some extra fuel. Uh, this extra fuel will be depleted by the time we get into Earth orbit so we'll discard that container once we uh, before we head to the moon. So uh, Let's go back to the uh, main panel here and it's time to figure out when to launch. This is when I'm gonna pull up the launch MFD right over here. Uh, let's see here it is. Um, obviously this is one of the add-ons that you'll have to download uh, let's select uh, the moon as the target. And the nice thing about this is after I've selected the moon here, it's giving me a launch heading of 65 degrees for the approaching intersection. And that coincides with what we're seeing over here. Here's the moon's orbit approaching us, and it looks like it's about 65 degrees. But we need to know when to launch. Now I have read up on the documentation some for this launch MFD add-on and uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do with it and I honestly have not tried uh, hardly anything really all I'm using it for right now is to get the launch heading I want to show you how to do this with um, as many of the default MFDs as I can but I would definitely recommend reading up on this launch MFD because you can do some really cool stuff with it so that said let's come over here to this side and pull up the align MFD uh, let's go ahead and target the moon 
and uh, we're going to use this during the launch to get our relative inclination to zero. So, you know, we're going to align our planes with the moon throughout the launch. Uh, but what I'm looking at right now is TN, time to node. I have found success when this gets to about 320 seconds or so with the XR2, or I guess the Delta Glider would probably work too, uh, any winged craft like that. Around 320 is when you want to take off, and in this instance, 65 degrees is the approaching intersection. So when TN reaches 320, we'll take off into a heading of 65 degrees uh, very quickly. I'm going to pull up the orbit MFD right here, hit projection, distance, get that ready to go and uh, pull the align MFD back up. I can pull the surface MFD up over here and uh, we'll just advance the time and come back whenever this reads 320. You can see it's counting down now at 100 times. So we'll come back for the launch when this is at 320.